Don't trip. I know why you're here. See, back in 2018, when I first begun my real estate journey, it took me nine months to get my first wholesale deal. Now, once I got that first wholesale deal, I was off to the races, closing deals consistently. However, before I got that first one, in the midst of those nine months, I had lots of deals that I came across that I knew were deals. I knew I was going to close them. And I had, you know, some that I got so close on closing. And I'll tell you about this one. So this deal, it ended up basically the buyers, they liked the deal. They liked the pictures. They ended up telling me, you know, we like the property. We just want to make sure, you know, we like the terms in the contract. So I'm like, whoa, okay. I told them the terms of the contract, ended up, you know, telling them, you know, all the terms in the contract. And, you know, you can download that contract below if you like to know the terms in the contract. But ended up telling them the terms in the contract. They said, okay, you know, we just want to see that you actually got an under contract with the buyer so or with the seller. So they want to see my purchase and selling agreement between me, you know, the actual, um, the actual investor that's going to be assigning the contract to the end buyer of the property. So you're the B in between the A. So B and A contract. Now the contract between you and the seller, the assignment contract, or the, the you and the buyer, the assignment contract, that is B to C. So that's your end buyer. C is your end buyer. So the A to B contract contains the purchase price of the property. And they want to know, you know, how much I really got the property for so they can figure out my assignment contract. That's what, you know, when in my mind, just due to the knowing the nature um, of some of the things you may come across in this business. So I didn't want them to know how much I, you know, was going to make on the property, especially this being my first deal. I'm like, I'm not trying to chance that. So I'm like, what do I do? I'm going to black out the price. How do I black out the price? I ran, my own, I ran around my apartment like for two hours trying to figure out how do I black out the price. I'm freaking out because I'm like, man, they about to actually do it. I just need to figure out how to black out the price. So ended up Googling, of course, hitting up YouTube, how to black out the price, how to black out the price. And ended up coming across something, you know, how to edit a PDF. Figured out that that may be a, a way, but it didn't give me exactly how to black out the price. It just told me how to edit a PDF. So ended up finding something on Google itself, nothing on YouTube that ended up showing me, you know, a free app, a free tool that I can use to black out price. But I, it, it wasn't blackout. It was called Redact. So maybe, you know, I could have saved myself about four or five hours if I would have looked up the term Redact. Who knows? But it's called Redact, R-E-D-A-C-T. And it's when you're editing, you know, PDF legal documents and things like that. So with us, you know, with me going to uh, edit that document, I ended up finding PDF Fowler, which helps me black out the price. So today I'll show you guys how to black out the price if your end buyer is asking or yeah, if your end buyer is asking for your B or A to B contract. So as we can see, this is the example purchase agreement that you can download for free down below. Um, we have our sellers East End LLC, buyer Jungle Properties LLC. An agreement is made this day of 22nd, uh, April, 2021. Street address, 3812 Odin, uh, City State, Tempe, Arizona, 85281 address. Legal description, property will be sold as is, whereas you don't need to put a legal description here. And again, guys, if you want to get the whole breakdown of this contract, go ahead and um, click the video up here and go and get the, uh, the whole breakdown of the purchase agreement. But I'll run you through it real quick. Earnest money, $100, cash to seller at closing, $300,000. do not tell me that this is not possible, $100,000 to $300,000, because it is not only possible, um, it's it's definite. You can definitely do that. You can do anything that you really feel comfortable and you can confidently convey and you know make someone else feel comfortable about it. So that's all I'll say right there. Watch the whole video if you're interested and get more. Closing date and transfer of title, May 14th. Damage the property, seller should maintain property in its current condition until closing. That's about all you need there. Inspection, 15 business days, which really makes this about 21 or 22 days. It adds about, you know, six extra days on there. So, you know, you can cancel the property uh, with buyer's sole discretion. So you'll be able to cancel that, you know, within that time frame by either um, delivering an email by delivering an email to the seller prior to the expiration, which will be very easy since you already have their email. 
because you watched the hello sign video. Buyer will pay all closing costs minus any unpaid taxes, mortgages, or liens. That's the terms I was telling you about. So this just makes sure that your in buyer, the C of the ABC uh, transaction, that C is the one that will be ultimately paying the buyer uh, closing costs, any unpaid taxes, mortgages, or liens. They won't pay that, but they will pay the closing costs. So it doesn't come out of your assignment fee. All right. So this is our example purchase agreement. So now or if somebody wants our property, they like this property on 3812 Odin, but they want to know how much money, how much money between you and the seller that you have to put up. And I'm gonna tell you another thing, you wanna block out the earnest money as well, because you don't want, you want your buyer to put up more earnest money than your seller. That way, if, you know, God forbid anything happens, but if it does happen, if your buyer backs out for whatever reason, the earnest money of $1,000 is non-refundable. So what you can do is go ahead and give your seller, you know, here's the $100 of the earnest money in that agreement that we signed. Now, just give me an extension and I'll be able to find someone else for you. Let me send you over an addendum. Yeah, an addendum. That's another, you know, contract or, or another agreement that can really go to a real estate transaction. But let's jump right into this. Let's keep it going here. All right, so we got this. Let's go ahead and minimize it. Let's hop on to upload documents to PDF filer. So we want to drop this one right in here. Bang. So, oh, wait, what is the PDF filer? My bad. <laughs> PDF filer real quick. Let me, hit, let me hit go to the PDF filer. All right, so when you click in here, I'm already logged in. So it may, but I'm going to log out on this tab. Real quick, so I just you already see what you do. So when you get in a PDF file, you press add new. So when you press the add new, you upload a document. But as you see, it says start free trial because I haven't started trial and I ha don't have the um, monthly plan as of today. So there's really no use for it for me right now. But the good part is they do allow you to start a 30 day free trial. You see that right there, 30 day. But let me show you something real quick. So I log out of this. Right, all right. All right, so look, we'll go, don't have an account, create an account. Simple as that, guys. You can create your account by simply logging in with your Gmail address, Facebook, or even your Apple iCloud account. So you enter your email, password, you press create account. Once you press create account, bang, you go here. So not right here, obviously, but the stage that I showed you guys before where it says start a free trial, that's how to get you in the door, but you can start that free trial. They'll only charge you like a dollar to hold, you know, to see if your um, debit card is actually a real debit card. So they'll charge you a dollar hold, but that's nothing. So we'll go here, start editing. And you can do all of this. They'll let you, you know, test out the software, test it out, see if it's something you'll use prior to you actually signing up to the 30 day free trial. So as you see, we want to block out this. So we got somebody that want to be nosy. This is a PDF for us, whatever. You know, we, we need to block this out. How do we get out of this? So mind you, this will be a PDF because you'll get it signed, you know, through hello sign, signature. You get that signed for free. So you can upload, as you see, PDF file. I know, you know, you may be thinking it was just a Word document, so it's not a PDF, but it is the same thing. It is a PDF, done PDFs. So... Same exact thing because it's PDF file. We'll go into, it says disable original PDF altering because it really, um, if you disable this, it won't even let you, you know, edit this because it takes as a PDF. So you see, you can't now edit this anymore. You can't edit the text. But the good thing is if you needed to edit the text for whatever reason, using this software, it allows you to edit the text. But we want to hop into tools. So when we get in tools, we press blackout. Blackout. We want to black out this right here. We want to black this out. And I like to black it out like a little longer so that way, you know, they won't know. And let me let me do a better blackout job for y'all. Like Command Z, it always works, you know. All right, so let me get y'all a better blackout job. So look, we want to go like right here. See, like, man, this guy probably put up $20,000. In this market, he probably put up twenty thousand dollars to get this as a get this as a deal. All right, boom. That that might be twenty thousand dollars. Who knows, right? So let's get this three hundred thousand. 
Uh, let's type. All right. Back to the blackout tool. As you see, guys, I have not used this in a while, but you know, we making it work. All right. Black that out. Look at that. That could be 400, you know, that could be almost a million dollars right there. It could be a million. Look like six figures, huh? You never know. <laughs> well, obviously, they would have an idea, but point is, let's make it a little longer than it needs to be. So they won't know what you can do. And they do have certain software out there for them to, I believe, take away the PDF and take out the blackout and just all type of stuff. But when you black it out, it is locked in with the PDF Fowler. So they'll have to have some major software to undo that. So we, everything else, we want them to see this. So we're good. So we want to press done. And then processing, please wait. Change the save. Look at that. Oh, I think they just. I think they just wanted to sign up for this. <laughs> yep. Oh, okay. Mine just logged me out. Something to make note of. They might just log you out, guys. So, all right, guys. It takes you into this page. Once you get into this page, as you see, we have our example purchase agreement, Tempe ID. We can open it up. And let's see what happens. You know, maybe we wanted to download it. Maybe we wanted to open it up. We could have sent it out, got it signed. But look at that. It's still blacked out. We good. That's it. That's it. So we go ahead and press back. It's blacked out. Now you're good. Also, guys, look, you can send this right here, sign now, convert it to a PDF, anything you need to do, convert it to a CSV, whatever. But you have to sign up for the 30-day free trial to really get the full use of everything. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys for watching. If, if this has helped you, go ahead and, you know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, definitely hit that notification bell. And also comment down below. Let me know how this has helped you. I love to hear if these things, when they help you, I know it's going to help you. So when they help you, um, I love to hear about it. So comment down below. Let me know your situation and, you know, how this helps you. As always, guys, thanks for watching. But if you like to know what happened with that deal, I tell you this. I ended up sending it the property over, blacked out the price. They asked me, why did I black out the price? They want to know how much I got it for because it needs to make sense for their numbers. How much I got it for has to make sense for their numbers. Red flag right there. If somebody says something like that, guys, just know that that's not really the real reason why they want to see your price. It's not because it has to make sense for their numbers. If you, Unless you've already developed uh, in a relationship with them that will make you think otherwise. But most of the time, they really want to know how much you're making because they just want to know. And, you know, for them, knowing it makes them feel like, man, I could have got the property for $10,000 less if this guy was never involved. So you got to really protect your interest in the deal. Realize that really you're the one with the power in all of the all of the deals. And this, you know, PDF filer, um, as long as you're going directly to the seller, you're the one that's, you know, with the power. But in your PDF filers, that'll block out, you know, any deals that you need anything that you need something blacked out so 30 day free trials you guys already saw so go ahead and hit that like subscribe button if this video helped you out and you know give me a comment let me know if you actually came across this situation and this video helped i like to know when i actually help you guys out anyway as always get the stepping